One thing you notice about this truck, it's got no conventional mirrors. In fact, it's got mirror cam, which has got better fuel consumption, better visibility, and more importantly, greater safety. Okay, just like we do in a conventional truck, before we set off, we've got to uh, set our mirrors up. In the case of mirror cam, what we've got to do is show it where the rear of the vehicle is. Obviously, if you've got a semi-trailer, we can show it at the end of the trailer. If you've got a rigid, it'd be the end of the body. For our purposes, we're going to use a traffic cone. Okay, I've set the cone at the rear most area of the trailer. Now what we've got to do is align this line here with the cone. So, and to do that, we've got to activate the right hand button there for the uh, right hand mirror, and then use the direction area to align it so it's in the middle of the cone there. And then, once I'm happy with that, I then use the left hand button and now the vehicle and mirror cam more importantly knows where the rear of the trailer is and can track that when we're turning. One thing that you will notice is the fact that we've got a split screen and so we've got on the top area is a near view and then on the bottom area we've also got a wide screen so it gives you the best possible visibility both near and far. Now, there might be occasions when you want to adjust the mirrors anyway, just like you can do on a conventional truck, you can do the same with mirror cam. And what we do is just activate the mirror and then move it to wherever you wish. What you will notice is you'll get a red sign. That tells you you're outside the legal field of vision. So, bringing it back, you wait for a green sign. There it is. And that tells you you're safe and legal. That's the important thing and ready to set off. And just like normal mirrors, you find that you do need to clean them now and again. So they're made so that they're within easy reach and clean it with a nice soft cloth. And it's also worth mentioning that they're also heated. That's it for our introduction to Miracam. Here we are out on the road with Miracam. We've got Chris, who's the senior truck trainer for Mercedes-Benz. And we're just going to demonstrate how Miracam actually works. Here we are on a straight line. We're now making a sharp left-hand turn. And now what's happening is we're actually tracking the rear end of the trailer. Even at tight turns stuff like this, we never lose the vision of the rear end of the trailer, making it safer for drivers and for the general public. It comes as no surprise that Miracam comes into its own when it comes to reversing. So what we're going to do now, we've just stopped. We're now going to set into reverse. And as you see straight away, the mirrors change. First of all, you've got a wide angle there and we get a fisheye view as well. Also, it comes on both screens, which greatly improves the safety, and it's a wonderful improvement on conventional mirrors. We've already shown you that mirror cam can help you when you're driving, but also it can help you when you're parked up as well. Let me set the scene. You've parked up the truck, you've drawn all the curtains, you're half asleep, and suddenly you hear a noise. You don't want to get out of your cab for the safety side of it. Here, mirror cam can help you. Press the button on, mirror cam comes on for two minutes, and as you can see, it's excellent low light visibility. We're in a warehouse here, it's a bit dark, we made it artificially dark, just to show you how great vision you've got. Obviously, most importantly for you then, you remain safe in the cab. On the subject of light levels, when you're in the driver's seat, or when you're operating the truck, mirror cam automatically adjusts for the ambient light levels, but you can override it. If you go into operation, then display and operation, scroll down then to screen brightness, then look for driver mirror cam, and then you have a sliding scroll for making it darker or making it brighter. 